gentlemen, for the first time in my life, I am ashamed of my country. To be watching all of this, to be treated, to have my intelligence, all of us, to have our common sense and intelligence insulted the way it's being, is... It just makes me ashamed. Seriously, man. I mean, here we get worked up over $44 billion. That's the total amount of money that will not be spent that was scheduled to be spent this year. And in truth, we're going to spend more this year than we spent last year. We're just not going to spend as much as was projected. It's all baseline budgeting. There is no real cut below a baseline of zero. There just isn't. And yet, here they come, sucking us in, roping us in, panic here, fear there, crisis, destruction, no meat inspection, no cops, no teachers, no firefighters, no air traffic control. I'm sorry, I, my, my days of getting roped into all this are over. Those were comments made by Rush Limbaugh yesterday on his radio program. They went viral and even caused his website to crash. Joining me now with reaction to what he said, radio talk show host Dana Lash is with us and Fox News contributor Joe Trippi. Guys, good to see you. Dana, welcome. It's, it's good to have you back on the program. Welcome back. It's good to be back, Sean. Thanks for having me. You know. I, I, I guess we could say it another way. I think it's embarrassing, Joe, when, an, when a president apologizes for America. I'm embarrassed that he didn't stick up for his country. I'm, in, I'm embarrassed that, you know, with all our wealth, that 50 million Americans, because of bad economic policies, are on food stamps. One in six Americans are in poverty. Uh, I'm embarrassed that we're stupid enough not to drill for oil. I'm embarrassed we give the, uh, the Egyptians under Morsi F-16s and tanks. There's a, I'm kind of embarrassed that our, that our government's so dumb. It's embarrassing, isn't it? Well, I, Sean, you're embarrassed, and and Rush is ashamed. And uh, uh, but I. <laughs> but this is but a, you I know would, why? Because this is America. Say, we can do better. We're making dumb decisions. And I, no, and I defend your right to be embarrassed and his right to be ashamed. The, the, the problem is, um, Thanks, that, look, Joe. I actually agree. No, but I actually agree with with. I don't agree with the ashamed part. But but look, this is a manufactured crisis, and both parties uh, are to blame. That's where we, we 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 differ. Is I just don't think this isn't just the, the president manufacturing this. Republicans are have manufactured it, and the American people are sick of both sides for continuing to keep, you know, every three months there's another manufactured crisis well, around. great leadership by uh, the president. Uh, I mean, by well, he can't, you have to have no, votes. I, I think, I believe that saying Republicans manufactured it is manufacturing even more hysteria. I mean, here we had two pieces of legislation that were aiming to uh, give an alternative to these cuts. They never made it out of the House because Harry Reid controls the Senate. He just shoots down. Sean, I don't know what to be terrified of more. I, we have global warming. We have uh, assault <laughs> weapons and assault rifles. And now we have the sequester cuts. Everything, everything we're supposed to be terrified and screaming and we're all going to go blind if we don't, if we don't pass this or, or fight it. This President, this was his idea. He said November 21st, 2011, that I will veto any attempt to reduce these cuts. They need to own this, and Republicans should just go out there and say, you know what? We think it's great. We love the pre that the president is finally getting serious about spending. But he's reduction. not getting serious. You know, and, and Rush made the point, Dana, I know you made the point, I made the point. Uh, mm -hmm. We're spending more money this year than we spent yeah. last year. But you would think right, listening it's, it's, to Obama, only in Washington when you spend more money year to year is that doom and gloom and a cut. Right. But where was, Sean, Sean where was this, where was this when, when Bush, when Bush up spending four I don't want to hear about the, Bush. Bush is out of office five years. years. Get over I know. it. But, okay, but I don't remember this outrage when he was, when he was out spending the previous seven presidents never, before excuse him. Excuse me. No. It the go, worst, the worst. So if when, Bush, ahead, if, if when Bush did is so bad, why is he constantly used as an excuse for everything that, that President Obama does? I thought he ran on a platform of change. Why do we always go back to Bush to justify this? Good I'm not question. going back to Bush. I'm saying there's a, there's some hypocrisy going on, though, because it was okay when he did it, but it's not okay. Hey, hey when, Joe, let when me Obama give you the numbers. Bush gave us four trillion in debt over eight years. Obama gave us six trillion in four years. 
Yep. And, now, and now, a couple Obama billion, is a, a couple trillion saying of that was two wars that had to keep going. I mean, come on, we can go. We don't want to be patriotic. Here's what, Sean, is the Obama real problem patriotic? Here, no, the, Sean, the real problem here is you've got the, the Republicans in the House do, are, are not admitting or, or nothing that they propose takes into the into account that there is a Democratic Senate and a Democratic president. And frankly, what the president and the Democratic Senate Dana, doesn't take into account is that there's a Republican House. Dana, and didn't, so didn't, because didn't, didn't the Democrats just get their tax no one's going to get their wait, way wait, wait, here. Dana, didn't we just raise taxes, Obamacare taxes, mm -hmm. fiscal cliff? Didn't we just raise taxes on those evil, wascally witch people? Didn't we just do we that? We did. We did. did, and we had the stimulus that was supposed to solve everything. That should have fixed everything. Where's Why the balanced do we still approach? have this problem? Now we got to right. cut. Now it's time to cut. And we're people cutting, voted. We're spending 15, we're spending what, what, 2% less? I mean, we're just, yeah. we're spending just a little bit of less. This is a slow rate of, 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 of cuts for spending. I mean, that's all this is. And everyone's acting like we're all going to go blind and Jesus is going to appear in the sky if this happens. The president supported this in 2011. I think he should be consistent. It's I don't his think idea. Jesus liked the tax, He's the, the tax collectors either. Render unto, <laughs> render unto uh, Caesar that which is Caesar's, which is nothing. Um, uh, but Joe, seriously, 85 billion of $3.8 trillion dollars and we're robbing our kids blind. Where is, where is the, well, don't you liberals care about the children? <laughs> don't you care you're robbing no, we the don't. children? No, no, Sean, we don't. We don't care about robbing. Exactly. Come on. Exactly. Come on. That's you like, want to poison oh, the air with water, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, but look, the, 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 Senate, the Senate plan, we know, is $55 billion in new, uh, in, in new revenue and $55 billion in cuts. But you're going to throw and, grandma and, over the cliff, Joe. Your, your right. policies are going to throw Granny over the cliff if we cut eighty-five billion dollars out of three point eight trillion. That's what you don't, don't forget the about problem, all the animals the, at the zoo too. No, the, 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 the Washington Post did a whole article on that. No, the real problem with the eighty-five billion and, and it, it isn't. I, I don't. Eighty-five billion shouldn't be a problem at all. Neither, neither should one hundred and ten. It's that there's no flexibility in any. I mean, defense doesn't have any flexibility about how those cuts happen. That's the real because problem. Because Obama's is, insisting on another tax problem. increase and not just cuts. He got two tax increases. Now he's insisting on another one. And Republicans right. think, like I do, we're taxed enough. Exactly. We already had our tax hikes. No. We don't. We don't need any more. Find another yeah, alternative. Joe, I'm sick of paying more in taxes so that you can kill <laughs> grandma and, and poison the world. I have. I have gotten that message from you, Shine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, by the way, I did not. Uh, Joe, I uh, honestly, I really don't believe you want to do that. It may shock people. And and Republicans what? and conservatives actually want to drink pure spring, natural spring water. And guess what? We, we love, love our grandmothers. <laughs> we and we do. don't want to right steal here. from our Delicious. kids' piggy bank. Yeah, all right. Good to see you both. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Sean. Sean. Take and care. Log on